Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Changed like, a lot of careers people? for some people. Absolutely, it did. They switched careers, did that, or just didn't go back, you know? So it definitely was an awakening for a lot of people, no doubt. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. And for everyone that's going to be heading out to work tomorrow morning, mm -hmm. it is going to be another hot and humid day. No surprise there, but it does look like it's going to be pretty dry to start. Mm -hmm. We are going to be looking at some more showers and storms coming through to end the weekend. This is just kind of typical summer July weather for yeah. us. Good news is we're not really looking at any threat for severe weather, although we are going to see some big changes come our way here within the next, I would say, 6 to 12 hours. It'll be mainly in that of we'll see clouds start to arrive, but for the time being, things are going to be pretty calm as we head into the overnight. Small chance for a few passing showers, but for the most part, we're done with the rain, but we are staying very warm at this hour here in Columbus. We are the warm spot on the map by a long shot. 80 degrees right now here in Columbus. It's 69 in Zanesville, 70 in McConnellsville. Pretty much everybody else, at least off to the east, you're in the low 70s, upper 60s, a little bit closer to central Ohio, 75 in Circleville, 71 in Lancaster, 69 up towards Mount Vernon, and still 73 in Mansfield. So very warm night for us. So definitely the AC is probably going to be putting in some overtime for you, even going into tomorrow. It's looking like it's going to be pretty hot. But this front is actually going to bring some brief, dry, and cool conditions or cooler conditions as we head into the start of the weekend for us. And the nice thing about this system is very disorganized. We're not seeing any severe thunderstorm warnings in effect. We did see a lot of flooding problems through Chicago earlier today with just the rounds of rain that they've been dealing with. While these storms will be coming to town tomorrow, I'm not anticipating we're going to be seeing much potential for severe weather. Right now we do have a very isolated storm down towards Ross County, south and west of Chillicothe. Not expecting any severe weather again tonight, tomorrow, but you might have just some of these random downpours or rumbles of thunder as we approach the evening hours for us going into your Thursday, which looks to be the most active part of the day as far as the weather that we'll be encountering for your Thursday afternoon and evening. Temperature wise back in the mid to upper 80s and if you miss out on the storms, you're going to make up for the heat and starting things off for tomorrow morning. It will be a dry start. As I mentioned, we'll see some patchy fog possible early on. Winds will start to pick up a little bit. They've been relatively calm, so we might see the fog settle in for a little bit into the day on Thursday. Clouds will return. It'll turn mostly cloudy probably by 1, 2 o'clock. Clouds definitely will come and help, especially kind of keep the energy levels pretty low for these storms to get stronger. But we're still going to be looking at scattered showers and storms developing probably mainly after 2 p.m., moving through central Ohio. And again, a lot of these, this is going to be widespread. It's going to be hit or miss, so you might be missing out on the showers. Of course, still making up for the heat out there. We'll continue to see scattered showers and storms go through the evening. Then this front will come through later into the night. That'll help to sweep out the remaining moisture for us. Not looking at any more downpours into the overnight hours, but with the potential for rain, it's going to be hit or miss, as I mentioned, with these storms. Likewise, with the rain situation where we could be looking at anywhere from a hundredth of an inch of rain to maybe even some locations looking at closer to that of an inch. So very hit or miss. And if you miss out on that, you're going to make up for the heat. Heat indices well into the 90s. We'll continue to see these temperatures stay pretty toasty for for the duration of the day on Thursday, but then cooling off Friday, partly cloudy and then more rain and perhaps some more thunderstorm activity later over the upcoming weekend.